Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. So far, we have seen different questions in the UiPath practice test in the previous contents, right? Right now, I was thinking, what are the other questions that could appear on computer vision? So going forward, I am going to create some of some more videos, which is going to help you to ensure that you answer all the questions that appears in computer vision. So here I present one of the topic CV screen scope. Now here, this documentation link, I'm going to pass it in the description. You can pick it from there. Now, what are the important points I should know in this documentation? Okay, so I've highlighted few. You can go through the entire documentation, but I will go through a couple of important points. The very first important point, the computer vision screen scope activity. It initializes the UiPath computer vision neural network. Very, very important point. Okay, this activity enables you to select which OCR engine you want to use for scraping the text in the target application. This also gives you an option to select your OCR engine. For example, if I'm going to drag and drop the CV screen scope activity. Now here it, you can see it gives me option to select the OCR engine. Let's say I, I need a different OCR engine. I can pretty well do that by typing OCR and see if I have any other OCR and I can try to replace that with this one. So I'll delete it and then let me drag and drop. So it gives you option to replace your OCR engines, but by default UiPath screen OCR engine is used, which pretty much work, works in most of the scenarios. Okay. So that is one thing. The other important points that you have to see is around the properties of this activity. On the right hand side, you have got so many properties. Okay. Now some of the important properties I am going to go through. First important properties, CV method. If you click on this, there are three options that you will get. One is none, element detection and OCR. And here is the documentation for that input method, CV method, none element OCR, a drop down list that specifies which detection method you want to use with this activity. By default, both the element detection and OCR option are selected. So you can see by default, these two are already selected. Now, what is the meaning of all of this? None means uses only image automation. Element detection means uses computer vision. OCR uses OCR. Okay, element detection is for computer vision. So this is what you should know. I'll frame few questions around this. We will see in the next video how to answer them. Okay, I'll come up with the questions. Now, these are a couple of important points. What I think, however, I would recommend you to go through the entire documentation. Now, other important point is target wait for ready. Now, where do you find this? Wait for ready, target wait for ready. Now here, there are three different options, none, interactive and complete. Now, what are the meanings of all of this? You should know. I'll frame a question around this and I will see how many of you can answer this. Okay. Now let's see the documentation. None means does not wait for anything except the target UI element. Remember, you might get confused target app and target UI element. Remember, it is talking about do not wait for anything except the target UI element, which is part of your target app. So UI element is part of your application, correct? So target UI element. So it is looking for that UI element. The moment, for example, I'm clicking on a button. Now, if the button appeared first in the web page while I'm loading, then it will click on it. So if I'm selecting none, it'll just wait for that button, nothing else. However, this can have unwanted consequences. What if the button relies on elements which are not yet loaded, such as scripts? If the button is rel relies on other things, then you should not go for it. Okay. Otherwise, if it is a normal button, does not depend on any kind of script, then it should be fine. Interactive waits for the UI elements. Remember here, what is the difference you find? The first one saying UI element, only that one single element. Here it is saying UI elements, you are working within the target app. 
So let's say I'm working with buttons, I'm working with few input text boxes, I'm working with few labels, I'm working with a table. So all those UI elements, it'll wait for all those UI elements upon which I am working in my automation for them to load. That is where you will be selecting interactive to exist before executing the action. So before it executes, it will wait. Remember this, waits for, this word is important. Wait for anything except, wait for the UI elements. See here, S is important, okay, elements. Complete, waits for all the UI elements in the target app. Here, so what is the difference between interactive and complete? In interactive, it waits for UI elements you are working with. I might be working with five elements out of 100 elements there on the target app. So it'll just wait for those five elements. Now complete mint, it waits for all the UI elements. All those 100 UI elements should load in the web page or the target application. And then it will start working. Okay, these are important points. And also there's another point called private. Okay, for example, private. If I select private, what would happen? If selected, the values of variables and arguments are no longer logged at verbose label. So when you do a debug, right you select verbose so what would happen all those values of the variables are logged if you have gone through my log videos you know it so if you select private it does not get logged okay all right and then the screen name drop down okay so what is this for example i have indicated a screen for example i'm indicating this particular screen okay now post indicating Let's say I would like to change the name of it. So for example, here I want, I'll click on it and I want to change it. So click on it once and it will allow you to, you know, type your own name. That is the meaning here. Okay. If there are multiple screens, you can use these buttons to scroll. So this is the definition of this entire thing. Now I'm going to frame few questions and I would love to see how many of you can answer it correctly do comment your answers do not hesitate just comment whatever comes to your mind for the very first time just comment start commenting your answers okay so let's move on to our next topic and see the questions and answer them